What's going on everybody? Tony Pasquale here with you. In this video, we're going to be going over 3EPI, one of our newest Andros. You're probably wondering, Tony, I've been to the Steel Supplements website. I've used your mass stack. Uh, I've used other Andros you make. You know, how is this one different? What makes this one special? What kind of things can I expect from it? You know, you have so many different kinds of Andros. I'm a little overwhelmed, you know, what makes them all unique? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dive into 3EPI by itself in this video so you have an understanding of, of how this one works and what makes it so special. So one of the distinct factors of 3EPI is it's one of the few Andros out there that really actually increases uh, sex drive. Now, all the Andros can, for a lot of males, um, increase libido to some varying degree. I mean, anytime testosterone levels are elevated in the body, there's going to usually be an increase in libido with that. But the 3EPI, you'll notice it more so than other um, andros just because it's a very strong androgen. So because of that, your that effect is gonna be really pronounced. Uh, also with that, um, you're also gonna notice a, a better sense of overall mood and well-being for most people. And you'll say, well, why, why does that occur? Well, if you think about it, a lot of times any natural test boosting product, they usually say increased libido, better sense of well-being. That's because things that have androgens in them, typically those two factors for most people are going to be, are going to come hand in hand. So you're going to notice an increase in mood and an increase in libido. We don't usually make those claims with our other andros. So that, those are two distinct factors with this product. However, there's a bunch of other ones. All right, you're going to get things like increased fat loss, more so than you would in some of the other andros we make due to the fact that the way this product works and how it, how it, how it puts muscle on your body, it's actually going to do things that actually increase fat metabolization uh, more so than other products out there, including our own andros. For the first time ever with our Andros, we're actually putting a cortisol blocking agent in there and an anti-inflammatory. Uh, basically what's gonna happen is, you've, you've probably heard people talk about cortisol in the past and anti-inflammatories and things like that and what inflammation does in the body. Um, but a lot of times we don't understand the science behind that. People love to, really like to sound like they're really smart on YouTube at a lot of times the, the, the viewer's expense because they don't really teach you anything about what's going on. You know, cortisol is something that can be good at times, but a lot of times can be bad. And for the purposes of this conversation, let's just pretend that cortisol, for the most part, is, is just a fancy term for uh, muscle eating, all right? So usually when cortisol levels are high, that just is fancy for saying stress levels are high in the body. And usually when stress levels are high, people don't sleep as good or people don't recover from workouts as well. So whenever you can put something in a product when you're trying to build muscle that suppresses cortisol and allows your body to stay in a muscle preserving, muscle building mode, that's always a good thing, all right? So you're also gonna notice in here that there is, let's see, 7-hydroxy epiandrostinesterone, minus nine or some other thing. So disregard my pronunciation of that. Um, but basically, that's basically has a lot of anti-aging properties in there. And you might say, well, dude, I'm a 21-year-old guy. What the hell do I care about an anti-aging property for? Don't think of it like that, okay? There's anti-aging properties in here, which is great for a guy that's around 45 years old. But when you're younger, anti-aging is just basically for you, just think things that are going to rejuvenate my cells extremely well, which basically when you're trying to put on muscle, what you're trying to do is you're actually trying to utilize your, your natural genetics. But when you're taking things like 3EPI, you're actually trying to go beyond your natural genetics. And part of doing that is your body has to create new cells. Sometimes we think of that as what they call muscle memory. A guy stops working out for five or 10 years, and then he starts working out again, and his muscle just seems to come right back. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to build new cells, rejuvenate your existing cells, build new cells that you're gonna keep with you for the rest of your life. And what this does is it allows you to build more muscle faster than you normally would, but allows you to keep that muscle so three or four years from now or four or five months from now when you're not on any andros and you take a little bit of time off from the gym and then you come right back, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna come right back and you're gonna continue to have a higher um, baseline than you ever had before that. So those are basically the things that make 3EPI what it is and its, a, its effects um, and benefits uh, compared to some of the other andros. But one thing that you're gonna see that's un uh, not unique but is a universal across all of our andros that's probably the most important is the liposomal technology, all right? And that's not just some term we made up so it makes it sound really cool and really nifty, all right? So what's gonna happen is liposomal technology, just you gotta focus on the word lipo, all right? Lipo is basically a derivative of the word fat. So what happens is you'll notice that when you've taken our andros, they're in tablet form. 
And you'll notice in other videos I've expressed to you, it is vital that you try not to break those tablets up because what makes these products work isn't just the ingredients and the proper dosing of these ingredients, but what's actually gonna make it really work is that it's encapsulated in, in, a, in a delivery system that when you take it in your body, actually gets absorbed. Because what's gonna happen is if you take in products that claim to be DHE precursors or any kind of product that claims to be any sort of pro-hormone, okay? What happens is when you take it, you take 500 milligrams, the minute you ingest it, it gets into your stomach, all right? Your stomach is not a very friendly environment for these kinds of products. These products have to survive getting through the gut into the bloodstream. Most products simply can't. That's why a lot of products use 500 or 1,000 milligrams of things in them because they're hoping if they take it and throw enough of it in there, it's gonna get through the gut and it's gonna get into the bloodstream, okay? Liposomal technology takes all that away. Because it's encapsulated in fat, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna get into your gut, your gut's gonna say, we can't readily absorb this, and it's gonna shift it over. And at that point, it gets absorbed 100% into the liver. That is why the Andros with steel do not need to have, we have 25 milligrams, 100 milligrams, 50 milligrams. And sometimes people reach out and say, Tony, I take products that have 500 milligrams. Why do you guys not need so much? That's why, because millions of dollars are spent on coming up with a delivery system that allows 100% absorption into the body. Moral of the story is, if you've taken other DHE precursors or you take other DHE precursors that don't have a liposomal technology in them, guess what? They probably don't work. And if they do work, I'm gonna go a step further. They're not really DHE precursors, okay? This statement is not an exaggeration, okay? There is nothing stronger that you can buy legally than Steele's Andros. That's not an opinion, that's a scientific and legal fact. So if you come across the company that says, oh, we make a DHE precursor and it has this and it has this. If it doesn't have um, a lipo liposomal technology associated with it, that's probably not real. And if it does actually have benefits and effects that, that you or someone you know has taken, I hate to break it to you, it's probably not a DHE precursor. Now, I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna speculate. It could be one of a million different things. It could easily just be an over-the-counter, excuse me, a performance enhancer that someone's throwing in an over-the-counter product. It's not the first time it's happened. So it's important you understand as a consumer, all right, that if you're purchasing something that you believe has worked really well in the past and you thought it was a DHE precursor, it probably really wasn't. Anyone can take a bottle and throw a label on it and say, and take an ingredient list that like something like we have and throw it on there and say, oh yeah, this is what it has and you're gonna have great results. You may have great results, but you probably just don't know what you're taking. And it's never a good idea to not know what you're taking. And of course, as always, if you have any questions about the three Epi, any of our Andros, any of our products, how to combine it with things like ADA, which you should be using if you're using any of our Andros, don't hesitate to click on the chat button in the bottom right-hand corner of the website. We'll happily answer any of your questions as fast as humanly possible.